Hope from 11 Warriors. Jonathan, this is your third time being in a game now of Ohio State playing Clemson. Just how much more incentive does that give for you to just want to finally get over this hump? Um, it means it means a lot, obviously, prepare for this. Uh, whenever you're going to the college football playoffs, um, obviously my freshman year, uh, didn't really see the field too much. And obviously last year um, I was out and I couldn't play in this game. So I feel like just for me personally being able – uh, to have an impact like I do on the team and um, being healthy uh, means the most. Next up is Bill Rabinowitz from Columbus Dispatch. Hi, Jonathan. Obviously, there have been so many ups and downs this year. Um, when you look back at, at what you've been through this year, your decision to come back, um, I'm assuming you have no regrets. You're happy you did it. But just kind of sum up what this year has meant to you. Um, honestly, it's, it's meant everything. Um, I, like you said, no regrets to the fact that I came back. I'm really happy that I made that decision. Um, obviously, this year hasn't gone exactly the way it's planned, um, just with like COVID and games cancellations and, you know, missing out on some things. But honestly, I mean, I, I'm just so grateful for the fact of just even having a chance to go out there and play with uh, my brothers and to represent Ohio State. And I mean, I could have asked for more. Next up is Phil Harrison from Buckeyes Wire. Hey, Jonathan. You know, lost in a lot of this redemption here for, you know, getting back to the college football playoff and getting, getting a chance to play Clemson again. Is This is Ryan Day's only loss, you know, the one loss against Clemson last year. And we all have seen how intense he can be at times. You get a sense that this week means a little bit more to him uh, based on how things ended last year and based on some of the back and forth in the media with, with some of the coaches and things? Um, I feel like just with uh, Coach Day, uh, every game he approaches the same, uh, with the same intensity and with the same uh, mindset that we have to win. Um, I feel like uh, any coach or anybody, no matter what team you're going up against, your whole goal is to win and to play your best uh, with your team and get your team ready to go do that. And I feel like Coach, Coach Day and his leadership have done an amazing job to do that for us. We'll now go to Nathan Baird from Cleveland.com. Jonathan, uh, Pete Werner had some big shoes to fill moving over from Sam to, to take over from Malik this year. Just what have you seen from him, I guess, either on the field or when you're watching uh, film that's kind of maybe – where has he put his stamp on this defense the most by that position switch? Yeah, uh, no, uh, Pete's an amazing player. Obviously, you guys have seen that. Um, I feel like his biggest thing that he stepped up in is his leadership. Um, he's definitely been a guy that uh, people can go to and the young guys can go to and rely on to answer any questions or anything that might be needed. Um, he's definitely just stepped up for our team in a big way, regardless of just playing his best football this year, but being a leader for us, someone that we can rely on. We'll now go to Tim May from Letterman Row. You know, Jonathan, you know, this is a bowl trip. You guys are going to New Orleans, but the way it's laid out, you might as well be going to Iowa City. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, how, is, it, is that taken away at all from the uh, the post uh, the postseason hoopla or whatever? I mean, the fact that you guys are only going to be there for like a basically 30-hour period, or is that just a part of the world uh, 2020? Um, I like you said, I feel like it is just a part of the world uh, uh, right now, just with everything going on, but I think the players would have loved to go down to New Orleans and actually experience the city and the place and the and me personally, the food. I wanted to try some of the seafood uh, down there. But, I mean, all in all, we're there to go win a football game. We're there to go uh, play for people and play for uh, the CFP. And, you know, it's all business. And I don't feel like uh, that's taken away from anything else. We'll now go to Sean Dunigan from WBNS-TV. Hey, Jonathan, do you guys look at all at the last three games that you have against Clemson uh, last year in, in the 31 nothing shutout and the 40 to 35 game in the Orange Bowl? Do you look at any of those game tapes or talk about any of those games since Ohio State hasn't beaten Clemson? Um, we like to – Obviously, we know the history and everything between Ohio State and Clemson, and we go back and obviously we reflect on everything. You go back and you watch the film and you see how you can get better. 
And I feel like that's how you approach like really anybody. You go back and you look at the teams that you played. If you have somebody that you played before and you look at the tape and you see where you messed up at and you see where you can get better at it. And then you have to go out there and execute. Now go to Brendan Gulick from Buckeyes Now. Hi, Jonathan. When the uh, season was announced that it was coming back, you, you were a little emotional telling us about your conversation with your mom. I know that maybe this wasn't quite as dramatic because there was, there was some level of expectation you'd get in the field, but certainly meaningful. Uh, are you willing to tell us at all about what your, your conversation with her might have been like this time around? Uh, when when, when uh, I first figured out that the season was coming back on? No, no, no. When? Sorry, hold on. He needs to unmute. I just muted you, Brendan. My apologies. Uh, that's okay. No, I, I, you, had, you had told us a little bit about uh, your conversation when the season came back. I, I'm curious about your conversation you know, when, when you found out you were in the playoff for sure and, and now you're, you know, you're back on this ultimate stage. Yeah, um, it was emotional, obviously. Um, just another chance to play, honestly, and go out there and make my family proud. Uh, it means a lot to me and my family. I just go out there and in my season the right way. Um, I don't know, I couldn't be happier. Our conversation is just kind of like, happiness and just ready to go get it. It's time to work even harder. Next, we'll go to Joey Kaufman from Columbus Dispatch. Jonathan, how do you think, um, I guess, how do you think Ryan Day has done well in terms of kind of leading you guys through a, sort of all the craziness of this season? What has he done that's been effective for you guys with all the uncertainty and a lot of the, just the extra stuff of this year? Right. Uh, Coach Day has been amazing throughout all of this. Uh, I couldn't ask him to do anything more. He's been a tremendous leader to all of us and just talking to us, guiding us, and making us stay strong and together as a unit, honestly. Um, just, you know, our key word is fight. And with all the challenges that we had to face this year and overcome them, we just had to fight and keep pushing through them. And uh, I feel like with Coach Day at the front of our team and being that leader, he's done a spectacular job. Next will be Patrick Murphy from 24-7 Sports. Jonathan, you guys have talked in the past in big games about wanting to, to dominate as the defensive line. Uh, you did that to some degree last year. I know you weren't a part of it, but, but how big will that be in this game to, to winning or losing how the defensive line plays against Clemson's offensive line? Uh, I feel like it's, it's just as big as any game. Um, defensive lines, I feel like, are the key uh, to – Winning the game, defensive line, offensive line, that's where everything starts. Uh, and obviously, we have to play extremely well and play our best game. And we want to do that every single week. And uh, this, is, this week is no different. We just have to play uh, to the ability that we're capable of. And our final question will come from Austin Ward with Letterman Row. Uh, Berm wanted me to ask if you and uh, Justin Hilliard are going to use another loophole to come back for year six and seven. Yeah, uh, hey Justin, you want to come back another year? Huh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, probably not going to come back. Yeah, I mean, unless he does, I'll come back. Berm's desperate. He just wants you two to hang around. <laughs> I'm sure he is. Thank you very much for your time uh, this afternoon, Jonathan. We really appreciate it. And good luck with the rest of your preparations. We look forward to seeing you down here in New Orleans. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it.